In a radiation emergency, you may be asked to shelter in place. Sheltering in place in a radiation emergency is different from stay-at-home instructions during a pandemic. Let's go over three of those differences. First, in a radiation emergency, you may have to get inside or shelter in place immediately after officials tell you to do so. Radioactive material can travel and fall rapidly in areas around you, so you may not have time to get home. This material collects on outside surfaces, including your clothes and exposed body parts. You need to get inside a building to avoid it. Cars, buses and other vehicles will not be safe places to shelter because they do not offer enough protection from the penetrating rays that come from radioactive fallout. Second, in a radiation emergency, you should put distance and walls between you and the radioactive material. You are not trying to avoid other people, so it's better to let others inside the shelter than to leave them exposed to radioactive material outside. Radioactive material on a person can be easily removed by washing with soap and water. Third, you may be told to stay inside the shelter for at least 24 hours or until officials say it is okay to leave. You should not go outside for exercise, supplies, or to see other people because of the radioactive material in the area. This may be difficult if electricity, water, cell phone reception, and internet are not available. You also may be told to keep windows closed and to turn off AC and heating units to avoid bringing in radioactive material from the air outside. When you are in your shelter, you should stay tuned for important information from local officials. Knowing how to shelter in place effectively in a radiation emergency will help you protect yourself, your loved ones, and those around you. To learn more about actions you can take before and during a radiation emergency, please visit our website.